Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, Shinrin, Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Thursday, October 19th. 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. A smoke ring above Stromboli Volcano today may signal peace in the Middle East, but I do digress as Hurricane Norma barrels towards Baja. Keep calm. It's Baja boom time. Nor'easter to Dallas, New England, and the Mid-Atlantic this weekend as Cooler weather is coming for Northern California, and cool, wet weather also ahead for Metro Detroit this weekend as we delve into the tropical forecast. Hurricane Norma currently Cat 3 storm, maximum sustained winds at 120 miles per hour, barreling towards Baja by Saturday morning. A hurricane warning is in effect for the far southern portion of the Baja California Peninsula, where Norma is expected to bring hurricane conditions on Saturday when it passes near or over the area. Heavy rains from Norma will bring impact to the far southern portions of California's Baja Sur on late Friday, continuing through Saturday and Sunday which will be their fun day. This rainfall may produce flash and urban flooding along with possible mudslides in areas of high terrain. So stay tuned for the boom as Hurricane Norma makes a quick approach on Baja by 12 a.m. Sunday morning. Now, Tropical Storm Tammy is still continuing to churn in the Atlantic with winds, maximum sustained winds at 60 miles per hour, about to potentially become a hurricane. It's going to rafe the Leeward Islands and quickly make its way into the Central Atlantic, no longer a threat to the U.S. So take warning if you're in the Leewards, this will be a storm and a hurricane as it leaves your neck of the woods midday Saturday. Now, a classic El Nino winter is expected this year, and forecasters say... Hey, hey, hey. Here's what that means. Winter temperature outlook for December through February 2024. Warmer and warmer in the north and near normal in the south and central regions. But the winter precipitation outlook shifts for the west and the southeast. It's looking wetter and better for the ski season. Here's your full forecast. Well, the big picture is record warm temperatures and isolated severe thunderstorms. A large ridge of high pressure will once again produce record high temperatures across much of the West towards the central Rockies. It was balmy today, almost 80, and it should be warming up even more tomorrow. This also includes the Southern Plains on Friday. Meanwhile, isolated severe thunderstorms with damaging winds Gusty at times and marginally severe hail are possible across parts of the southeast like a beast, especially in Georgia and South Carolina on Friday. So heed the warnings. As Storm Babette continues to ravage the UK, hey, hey, now making its way up to the north in Scotland after Ireland was lashed by rain. Let's take a look at some of the footage here. Looking a little foamy now, isn't it? Storm Babette is battering eastern Scotland, sending waves of sea foam into the ages. And a foamy beach at that. What does that mean for us? Well, this is a life in Scotland now, starting to see some of the flooding, and it is epic of epic proportions. Here we are over at our Twitter feed, at Diamond the Dave on the tweet box, which is now X. You can see some of these channels reaching maximum capacity, and I, a lot of these homeowners are probably praying for the best result. What else do we have here? More footage from Met Forecast at the tweet box. Take a look at this. We watched this creek rise from almost nothing to catastrophic levels in just minutes. Hours of powers. Now, here is the big international news as far as weather. Amazon River is falling to the lowest levels in 121 years amid severe drought. And guess what? Yes, they're blaming it on you. It's all your fault. It's climate change. The only problem is the Amazon River was lower 121 years ago and even lower since then. 
Have you ever heard of the Grande Seca? Well, now you know. The Grande Seca, or the Brazilian drought of 1877-1878, was the largest and most devastating drought in Brazilian history that we know of. It caused the deaths of a half a million people. Of the 800,000 people who lived in the affected northeastern region, almost all of them died. Those that survived, around 120,000 others, migrated to the Amazon, while 68,000 migrated to Brazil in other portions. So this is not a drought of the similar effects because back in 1878, a half a million people died. And I haven't heard of one death from this drought. Have you? Who knew? Now you do. And the good news is that take a look at Brazil. Here's the dry hole. As we move on into the winter in the Southern Hemisphere, it looks like some moisture is coming to that basin by the beginning of November. A November to remember as the drought ends in Brazil. So all you alarmists out there, you can suck it because these are the facts. California's supervolcano is cooling off but may still cause quakes. Since the 1980s, researchers have observed significant periods of unrest in California's eastern Sierra Nevada mountains characterized by swarms of earthquakes as well as ground inflation and rising by almost half an inch per year during these periods. The activity is concerning because the area called Long Valley Caldera sits atop a massive dormant supervolcano. The good news is that it is cooling off, but there may be still quakes coming from Long Valley, and we're keeping a close eye on it for you. As two trails are closed as unrest nears Kilauea Summit, and it continues... Due to episodic unrest in the area south, southwest of Kilauea Caldera, Manuiki Trail is closed, and the Kaua Desert Footprints Trail is also closed past the Footprints Exhibit to the Manuiki Trail intersection. This is because it appears as if, well, Kilauea is about to go boom. So stay tuned for more updates. Seismic update, most recent quake, we just had a 5.8. 171 kilometers west-southwest of Marizo, wherever that is. It's in the middle of nowhere. We have an interesting quake up here in South Dakota, but overall, worldwide, all is quiet on the western front. Worldwide Volcano News Update. We have Popo, Semaru, Reventador, Nevado de Ruiz. Reventador to 14,000 feet just moments ago. Nevado de Ruiz to 21,000 foot today. Semaru to 14,000 foot we have Popo to 23,000 foot today and more. Sabankaya also puffing and passing. Sakodajima to 7,000. Here, Dukono to 8,000. Bezamiani still puffing after the 30,000 foot paroxysm yesterday. Now still volcanic ash to 21,000 feet today. Santa Guito to 15 and Stromboli. Holy macaroni. Take a look at this impressive ash ring which occurred less than 24 hours ago. Space weather news update. The sun is quiet. B X-rays at B4.2. Completely embarrassing. Some small low-level sea flares over the last 18 hours. Nothing significant. As we are waiting for a low-level geomagnetic storm due to a coronal mass ejection, which was ejected days ago from the sun. KP is now falling down below 1. And we are waiting, looking at telemetry here. Not looking good. Very poor aurora forecast as we are taking a look at Discover Solar Wind here and keeping a close eye on it. It looks as if the density may be increasing here. So this could be the beginnings of the uh, G1 geomagnetic storm. As you can see, a quick turn up here in the speed. It is still at very low levels as the sun appears to be in solar minimum during solar max. Now, some interesting bolide weather. Yes, massive bang and flash of light shocks residents in Melbourne's northeast just the other day. Let's take a look. A meteor was spotted in Melbourne overnight. Dozens of Melburnians felt the ground shake moments after a loud bang. An object was captured blazing through the night sky. I haven't seen this yet. Okay. Top, there it is. There's the bolide. A shooting star. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? All of that. 
Well, Geoscience Australia has identified seismic signals in northwest Melbourne, which normally relates to earthquakes. Definitely not a bird. Okay, Clearly we can rule that one out. That so broke up into multiple pieces. I don't know if this is the case. same footage. And let's see if we can just watch well, a possible that again. meteor was spotted in Melbourne over a loud bang. An object was captured blazing through the night sky. I haven't seen this yet. Okay. Is it a shooting star? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? All of that. Well, Geoscience Australia has identified seismic signals in northwest Melbourne, which normally relates to earthquakes. Definitely not a bird. Okay, we can rule that one out. So come Bradlin in a sec. We'll see what she thinks. This is a very interesting story. Quartz crystals have been detected swirling in an exoplanet's atmosphere. This is mind blowing. This it literally suggests that an atmosphere contains silica and the clouds may be made of quartz. Now, this is not a rocky planet like Earth. This is a large gas giant, maybe more like Jupiter, Saturn, or Neptune. But it's likely that the nanoparticles of silica, which on Earth appear in beach sands and is used to produce glass, swirl in the clouds of this exoplanet known as WASP-17b, according to the researchers. A very deadly place to be indeed, if you're human. Strange form of ice found that only melts at extremely hot temperatures. We covered this when the discovery was made years ago, but apparently they're rehashing this on all of the mainstream media sources, so we figured we'd cover it for you. Odd things happen inside planets, and... This type of ice, yes, which is extremely rare or exotic ice called super ionic ice, only forms with pressures thousands of times atmospheric pressure here at Earth, and it only melts at like 5,000 Kelvin. So this is super pressurized ice. Apparently, super ionic ice stays solid all the way up to thousands of degree Fahrenheit. Amazing discovery. And, well, it only makes sense. It's physics, for goodness sakes. Scientists propose sweeping new law of nature, expanding on evolution. The only problem is this doesn't expand on it at all. It uses do dogmatic ideas that everything in science is linear and everything in human evolution is upward and onward. Complete garbage and gobbledygook, in my opinion, 164 years later, scientists are still as stupid as they ever were. In fact, nine of the dumbest scientists and philosophers on Monday proposed a new law of nature that includes the biological evolution described by Darwin as a vibrant example of a much broader phenomenon called human idiocy. And this appears to be at the level of atoms, minerals, planetary atmospheres, planet stars, and more. And it is the linear progression upward in complexity. These people are so stupid that they have not a moment to potentially even look at the theory of the Yuga cycle, cosmic catastrophe, and the fact that there are major resets on Earth every few thousand years that bring us back to the Stone Age, like the one that's coming, and I am certainly not bumming. Here's the article on the roles of function and selection in evolving systems because they can only be linear, according to these idiots. article alert. More articles coming. Climate change is making the ocean noisier. I couldn't be any dumber if I read this article. Let's see where it's coming from. Oh, Anthropocene. Yes, that's not even a real thing. The Anthropocene is a new geologic time frame that they are claiming is all our fault. This is how pathetic the world has become. The powers that be, the globalists, the elites, the people, the money funders, controlling your life and bankrupting you, making you eat bugs and move into the smart cities, now are blaming everything on you. In fact, the ocean is becoming noisier because you drive a car. How far will they go? Well, it's anyone's guess. The idiocy is epic. 
And now we need to worry about harmful forever chemicals in our toilet paper. And if you're one of those vegan greenies that spend twice as much money on all the processed food that smart people like Diamond don't eat, well, you're even dumber now because your $3 a roll toilet paper that's triple recycled has more toxic microplastics and PFAS forever chemicals than any other product on earth. So you're wiping your ass with, well, gender neutralizing chemicals. No wonder you're all gay and transgender. Keep using the triple recycled shit and eating the processed food and you will be eliminated because, well, you're all infertile. Well, it really doesn't matter because Wall Street is warming up a Black Monday and a repeat in time for the 36th anniversary of a collapse of the financial markets. If you think you're having a tough time now putting gas in your car and buying food, wait until the entire system collapses. And Lee and I will be discussing similar cosmic collapses in the past, including the Minoan eruption 1600 BCE that literally ended the Minoan Empire and sent us into a dark age. More to come in just a few days, and that's a boom to knowledge. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. We are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. So please share this on your social media. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do and watch all of our content in one place commercial free. We love you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Yeah, yeah.